So gore, oh crap. I'm starting to feel something. I got my hands on the new Too Faced Born This Way Soft Matte Oil Control Foundation and I am so sick to my stomach because as you can see, I was not recording audio and I'm so frustrated, but I cannot let this video go to waste. We're gonna try these out. They've got 30 shades and it's $46 each. It's supposed to be a weightless, buildable, medium to full coverage soft matte foundation. It has oil control, waterproof, sweat and humidity resistant for long wear and it's supposed to provide 24 hours of non-fading coverage. Wow. So we're gonna find that out because we are gonna do a wear test today so why not there aren't many dark shades i have to be honest i have the three darkest shades with me so the darkest shade is ganache and that is richest with neutral undertones and as you can see i feel like that's going to be the shade that matches my skin tone the best now i will say that i think it's terrible that i am the darkest shade with this particular foundation because i'm not the darkest person in the world we know that. The next darkest shade is Truffle and that is rich with golden undertones. The third to darkest shade is called Sable and that is rich with rosy undertones. And right here I'm explaining to you that I actually love the way that this foundation looks on my skin. If you know me then you know that I like to go darker with my foundation because when I highlight and contour it all comes together and it matches my body perfectly. I don't like to do a foundation that is too light for my skin. It just doesn't match. I don't match the middle of my face. I like to match the outer part of my face. So I love how this looks. There's a healthy shine as you can see which I love. I see the light reflecting off my skin. I think it looks so good and this foundation shade matches me perfectly. So with the concealer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer now. I made a mistake because I went in with my lightest shade which is Deep Golden 53G. I went in with that first when I'm really supposed to go in with 57S which is Rich Sand because that was more subtle. But since we're here, I evened it out on both under eyes. Then I added the darkest shade which is Rich Sand and we're gonna blend this in with a damp beauty sponge. Love the beauty sponge because it's nice and porous and I'm blending in from the middle to the outer part of my face and and then gonna go into the inner part of my face to blend it because it just blends a lot easier. And as you can see, it blended nicely. So it wasn't that huge of a mistake because it all worked out. Now we're gonna build up the face using all of my old faithfuls. Make sure you follow me on all socials. I have the link down below. And also if you're watching on television, scan the QR code with your camera. It'll take you right to my LTK where you can shop all of the products that I link. But it's also linked down below if you're watching on mobile. I still love me some good old Sephora micros. Look at me now. Now my audio is on. <laughs> so annoyed. I still love the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It's good. This is a shade Espresso. I feel like this is a darker shade. Did I keep this my mom? What did I do? Yo, speaking of, remember that vlog where she wanted makeup? She wanted a 10 minute makeup look that she could do. I've never seen her do it. I'm gonna holler at her because I need to hold her accountable. Excuse me. I gave you good stuff. Why aren't you using it? I gotta know now. I've reversed this step as you can see if you watch my videos in the past. I normally will do my contour and then the face powder, but the face powder takes away the contour. So then I like to do this afterward. I like to do it afterward. It just reinforces it. This is the e.l.f. powder foundation. The shade is Rich 660N, which is literally someone's full foundation shade, which I understand. But for me, it's my contour shade. I like it. It's nice and deep. It's very subtle. It's all the way for the chin. You feel me? Nothing too harsh. Just look at that. Everything's blending so nicely in my opinion. Comment and let me know what you think about how this is all looking so far. Let's highlight using these new LY, I mean, they're not that new. I mean, I've had them for some time, but they're from LYS Beauty. This is the shade Brave. We're gonna do the finger because it's, I just like how creamy it is and it melts into the skin a lot easier. So here we go. Let's start off here. Okay, nice and bright. Obviously they're different shades. I couldn't recall if this one was a shade that popped or if it was a subtle one and I like for my highlight. Ooh, the pop, okay. Switching fingers to blend that in because what? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. Ooh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, different fingers. So you apply with one finger and then blend with the other quickly because you don't want it to dry in place. You feel me? It needs to dry when you're ready, when you've finished what you need to do with it. Hello? Okay. Hi, L-Y-S. How are you? And it's L-Y-S, not Liz. 
Hi, hello. I don't know what happened to my one size, the trio blush. I don't know what happened to it. This is Dennis Myrick's Golden Hour blush. I don't know where it went. I mean, I've had that for a while and I, I can't imagine ever giving it away. I have several different makeup stashes and I have not found it in a long time. Several, several months. There's no way I gave it away. And there's no way that I decluttered it because it's not that old. I don't know where it is. Was it stolen? Cause I need it and I love it. It's the only other orange blush that I have outside of this Denissa Myricks Golden Hour. Okay, I do have this one from, first of all, where is Beauty Bakery? Do you remember Beauty, Beauty Bakery? Where are they? This is Snickeroons, but see, it's called Hey Pumpkin, but it's very, very light and it's matte. It just, it doesn't show like I need it to show. I don't know what that, that blush is, I'm annoyed. And then it's sold out on Sephora, I'm annoyed. When y'all gonna come back? I know they launched the pink one, but I don't do pink. I like to do orange, you feel me? All right, eyeshadow look is done, eyelashes are on. Again, all links to what I've used are down below. It's been a while since I've done a halo eye, so I'm really proud of this one. It's a cute, subtle, little peekaboo situation. Yes, the lashes are bold. Again, my choice. You do you, I'll do me. Now for a lip, let's do the Sephora Rouge Gel Liner. This is the shade Molasses 17. I used to hear a lot about this and I finally got my hands on it and I like it a lot. The shade looks just like this foundation. It's so good. It glides on so easily, I love it. And I love a good twist top. I can't stand having to sharpen stuff. The heck. I'm bringing it in, leaving a peekaboo in the middle. Big hunt. Because in the middle I have this, is this, okay, this is Charlotte Tilbury. This is so beautiful. It's so pretty. This Charlotte Tilbury Big Lip Plump Gasm. Oh my God, wait, pillow talk, hold on. This shade is fair medium. Wait a minute, this is not gonna make my lips burn, is it? Oh, it's a gloss. This is a gloss, I thought it was a lip stain. Okay, hold on. Some of these plump situations be burning. Before I do that, I'm gonna do pillow talk fair. It's supposed to go together. This is a beautiful pink. Oh, it's nice and light. Oh, it's a light ashy. <laughs> Oh, it's an ashy pink, okay. It has a stark contrast between this and the liner. I did not know it looked this way. <laughs> okay. Blending it in with the liner is very important because of what? Hey, don't be afraid of ashy lip colors. You just gotta blend it well, and, you know. Okay, this looks good. Now, I don't know if I wanna do this lip plumping thing. Is it gonna burn me? Yo, don't piss me off. Ooh, this color looks pretty. Oh, it has a nice scent to it. Ooh, I love the way it smells, my gosh. Don't upset me, please. Give me one in this thing. Don't upset me. Mm, so gore. Oh crap. I'm starting to feel something. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little tingle. Oh, I hate this. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Cause some are terrible and some are not too bad. I'm feeling it right here in the middle. Oh, I hate this. I'm not using this again. But now that we're here, I gotta deal with it. It's been a few minutes. It feels cold. It's not unbearable, but it's not what I want. I don't want my lips to feel like there's ice on them. Take that however you want to. But here's the finished look. Let's do a wear test because I feel like you want to know how the makeup lasts. You know what I'm saying? So 11.21 AM, I begin this makeup around 10 o'clock. It's been a while. I know. I'll check in later. Check in, it is now 9.05 p.m. I did this makeup around 11 something. My face is shiny as unusual. You feel what I'm saying? Naturally, my face is gonna be shiny. Is this, well, is it supposed to be oil resistant? I mean, again, I think that what they mean is your makeup will still look good, even if it gets oily, okay? Because is it supposed to make sure that I don't, my eyes pink, I'm sleepy. Is it supposed to make sure that I don't have any oil on my face? Well, if that was the case, then I should not be oily, and I am. I did not use the primer because to me, if that's what the product claims to do, that it should do it on its own without help from any else. So let's see, if I were to blot, oh, I don't have any blotting sheets, crap. This is only what I do when I'm out in public. I usually take a tissue of any kind and I just blot my face. Let's just do that. Yeah, this tissue has ridges in it, which is not ideal, but this is still literally what I do. It's still on, it still looks good. I have these two itchy pimples right here. I don't know where that came from. I mean, it looks good. 
So if you want to get to control your oil, if you're going by me, my oils were not controlled per se. I've been out and I've been working. I've been doing all kinds of things today, but does the face still look good after blotting? I would say yes. Let's get closer so you can see. But you comment and let me know what you think. All links are down below as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.